Eagle McMahon on two. This is a good little hole. It's 385 feet. It's a par three island hole. Still waiting to see a result from the spotter. Now Gavin. Perfect. Beautiful shot. Can pose its own challenge. No reference points, really. Come on, get a little lift there. That's nice. Stay in bounds. It's possible to go over the top, but I don't think we're going to see very many people try it. I think it's a much better shot to blast through the trees. There's no OB on this hole, so these guys are just going to be trying to rip through it. Oh, look at that one go down there. Gilbert for par. Yes. There you go. Showing up. And just a screamer of a forehand from Babcock. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Now we got Gilbert off in the rough on the right side. Like you said, a little bit worse off than Eagle. Yeah, let's hope he has a little window here. You know, I guess this is the risk you take when you do go over the top. Rips a forehand. Oh, oh look at that. my gosh. You can see the down trees that they tried to move. It's it's pretty crazy. These guys are going to have to work all weekend long. Look at this. Oh. Oh. Eagle will not let us down, I'm sure, all day. Got oh, it. Oh, hello. No pictures on the scorecard. That is a par. <laughs> oh, I loved it. Did you hear that? Oh, oh fans at home, you got to love it when the camera picks up the voice of the player. For a sidearm, it's a wicked window. Yeah, he, he let that go a little early, I think. Oh, get up there. Oh, my goodness. That's, that'll be okay. What oh, yeah. birdie. Those are about 324 feet away. These guys are going to be trying to go around those, maybe 80 to 120 feet around those trees and come down into the opening to get them into the gap. See, that's very, very nice. Being humble and taking the, the smooth shot like this. Look at this. This Get by that. Look at this. Right by the 300 foot. He's got some room. You can barely see the basket. Oh, he threw a roller. What a crafty dude. This is great. Oh, wow. This is great. Now Eagle McMahon for birdie. Nice. What a scramble. Unbelievable. Just so it would flex left and give him some kind of opportunity. Oh, look at this little flippy sidearm on eight. I sound like a hit in us. That is where Jake Wolf's drive landed park job. Nice. Let's jump ahead to hole nine. Justin Rosak from 60 feet obstructed for birdie. Hello. Gotta love that. Yeah, there you go. Get a little ground play. Oh, my. Oh, look at that. Some great ground play there. Kept him on the same level as the basket. This is what we talked about earlier. Being creative, coming out of the woods, working your way around trees. Uh, it looks like he has a line. He's yeah. And he does have a line. Can you believe that? Over the top it is, Jim. How all guys strive to delight each customer with unparalleled hospitality and mouthwatering food at great prices. And another spicy putt from Babcock. Justin Rosak, another long look. Yeah, Count it. in a row. Because it really, uh, those are scorable holes, I think, for these guys. Now up to nine, Eagle McMahon. This hyzer window can be blocked but he is so high. Oh my gosh, he almost broke, he almost tipped that basket over. Babcock. Oh, oh come on. Hallelujah. Yes. 
Rosak, another mid circle two look. 60 footer. Yes! Oh, yeah. McMahon from the knee on the right side. Unforced error on that forehand. Yeah. The tree line's about 25 feet behind the basket, and there's no OB here. So this is the hole, if you had to bet, to get an ace, this would be the one for me. And Eagle pulls that inside. A yeah, nice little kick roll there. Oh, here we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, I did not write that down, but it happened. <laughs> We got to see this again. Has, has someone oh. scripted this round, Jim? I've the amount of highlights I've seen this round, incredible. Like I said, if I was to bet on an ace on this course, that was the hole right there. You know, they're very respectful young men. Got a chance to play with Alden Harris in Santa Cruz. That was a such a pleasure. Alden Harris. Very yes. nice to work your disc. Oh, look at this. Just as I said it would be hard, he comes up and bangs it right through the middle. Yeah, there's your world champion, folks. Yeah, I'd like to see him clean the left side up some more and give a outside blind look that way and maybe one on the right side too. Look at that, see, right up that left side. It took a bad kick at the off the last tree. <laughs> Gets a seven under par. 100% circle one, 100% circle two. The man's putter has not touched the ground all day long. Ben and I talked about that one in 16, that uh, it, they really should have been par, uh, mm -hmm. par fives. What a great save from Eagle. They had some OB on it, but they took it out. So I think the guys are gonna be really aggressive on that hole. Great putt. He scrambled well all day. Up to 18, Jake Wolf. He should be laying this up right before the OB line and then throwing onto the island, I would imagine. And that's a circle two look for Jake Wolf. He threw it onto the island. <laughs> what a shot. You've got to be kidding me. It's 30 feet out the back, 54 on the left and 59 on the right as you're coming in on the green. Now Babcock coming in with the forehand, sticks oh. it. <laughs> wow, still Edge leaking it left. Yeah. Now McMahon for birdie to extend the lead to three. Ooh, that's hanging out there to the right quite a bit. Does that have enough to carry back? Oh, I think it Looks does. Looks like it. That is oh, it does. Look at that. Yeah, two strokes off uh, at this point. Isaac coming in with good speed. Very that, nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That looked like a sharp edge disc for sure. The plump. Nicely done. And Isaac pushing himself back to four under. And what a day it's been for Eagle McMahon. Eight under par starting effort. What's up everybody, Brian Earhart here, and thank you for watching highlights of the Disc Golf Network coverage. For more highlights and pro disc golf content, make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, and to watch live professional disc golf, make sure to subscribe to us on the Disc Golf Network.